and a mysterious barrel appears. What are you? Welcome back to another episode of Hermit Crap, by the way, guys. What is free samples by Impulse SV? Please accept these free samples courtesy of Impulse's Emerald and Totem Shop. If you enjoy the products, please consider stopping by the shop and making a purchase. All products are priced very reasonably. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh! I will take said free samples, and I will never shop at your shop ever. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll definitely go check it out. Oh, man, that's awesome. Thanks, Impulse. I don't know how I should feel about this. Um... Somebody bought one of the sheep heads. See, here's the thing. For some reason, I feel compelled to collect every single head available to me. Not necessarily player heads, but mostly like animal heads and mob heads and stuff. So the fact that one of them sold... I mean, sure, it's 10 diamonds in my pocket, but... I, I, I feel uh, it's a little bittersweet. A little bitter... Hey, Jeb, how you doing, buddy? No sales there. Ooh, we got a dark gray sail there. Nice. Or just a gray wool, I guess. Anything there, no. Anything there, no. Anything there, no. And anything there, yes. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What was here before? Purple? Magenta? What are we missing here? Cyan? Is it cyan? I think it was cyan. Nope. Cyan's right here. We got orange. Wait, was it red? I think it was red. It was red. We figured it out. What the heck? How did I even do that? Uh, okay, I gotta refill the red wool. I gotta bring back one, two, three stacks of the light gray. One stack of the gray. So make sure everything is nice and filled and stocked. For, for my customers. Oh, one of the brown. This is how I mark which ones I bring back. Okay, that's it. And shop has been refilled. Um, I have sad news. Nobody's bought a llama yet. Are you kidding me? It's reasonable pricing. One diamond block for this amazing beast of an animal. <sighs> Nobody, nobody spotted yet. That's okay. Things will turn around, guys. Don't worry about that. Anyway, in today's episode, we are going to be building a kitchen. In the, well, amongst other things, not just that. But what we're going to start with building a kitchen in the hacienda. This little space right here is going to be the location of the kitchen. Now, you might be wondering, why is the, why this space? It's kind of a small space. I thought you were going to build it over there. Incorrect. Um, I am going to build it over here, or I'm going to build something over here. I think here I'm going to do like the dining table. That, that table over there, I'm going to change it to just strictly decision room table. So I'm going to remove the plates, and I'm going to put a dining table over here. A little bit smaller than that table. But uh, dining table is going to be here, kitchen here, and then living room with a fireplace right here. So that's the plan. I'm not going to change the floor just yet because I haven't figured out a nice cohesive floor pattern for this whole area. So we're not going to bother with that just yet. We're just going to go with the kitchen. And to get this kitchen started, guys, I had a great idea. It involves item frame, not item, item frames. Um, it involves uh, armor stands. Once again, we're starting with the fridge. That's right, the fridge, guys. Also, shout out to the person who told me about this trick. It always places it nice and straight every time you release it from a dispenser. I should have used that for the piano. In fact, I'm going to probably rebuild the piano at some point just because I forgot that that was a thing. Or I didn't even realize that was a thing. Let's put you in there. Let's put you in there. Let's go ahead and pop you out. Okay, so this fridge is going gonna, is gonna to use armor stands in an interesting way. Um, I was playing around in my creative world as I always do. And uh, I came up with kind of a cool little idea here. Let's go like this, okay. Actually, I brought a redstone torch for this very reason. Oh no, that's right. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Okay, all right. So now they're, they're occupying the same block. All right, this is this is the, the armor stands in the same block. Actually, I should have left that. Here, but come back to me. Thank you. So you're gonna be here, 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 and probably gonna be four tall, maybe even a slab up there instead of a full block. But for now, let's leave it at that. Next, we do this. Okay, we do this. We do this. Perfect, perfect. Oh, don't break that just yet. Then we do this. We do this, and look at this, guys. Suddenly, we have Ice and water dispensers. Oh, baby. There's also something else I wanted to add. Um, on the outside of this wall, by the way, in case you're wondering, it has not been decorated yet, so I'm actually going to put some columns and stuff, so I'll be able to hide this really... Ooh, maybe we should have put it... Hold on. If I put it there, if I do one... Oh, maybe we'll just build, like, a false wall. 
you know, we could do something like that. If I put it here, then I could skip a space. Oh, no, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. You guys, I know it doesn't make any sense what I'm saying to you right now, but you got to have faith. Um, this is an ice dispenser. That's right. We have an ice dispenser in the fridge. Now, we need to go buy ice, but we have an ice dispenser. And all we got to do is stick this button here, and then it pops ice at us. Huh? That's a pretty cool idea, right? Right. Dang, Ethan. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Dang, Etho taking all my diamonds. All I really need is one stack of ice. I don't imagine I'll be using too much of this uh, ice dispenser, but hey, it's nice to have. Put my shoes back on. It's cold out here. Thanks for the ice. And it comes out over here, too. That's actually a nice uh, unintended side effect. All right, let's put the ice back in there. Let's put this over here. And let's start putting in our counters and our uppers and lower cabinets. So here's the thing. I wanted to use actual barrels as, like, the uppers and lowers to actually store things. And you can, if you're copying this design at home and you kind of want to do that, you totally can. Um, but for me, it doesn't make any sense because I already have a storage room, so I really don't want to put uh, food and stuff in the kitchen. So we're just going to make it look as nice as possible. We're going to need a ton of item frames, and we're also going to need a ton of... Ooh, you know what? Maybe if I used the normal quartz instead of the, 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 the smooth quartz, it might have more of a distinction between cabinets. The only problem is I want a nice clean countertop, and this is a nice clean countertop. You see that? Hmm. Okay, I thought about it, and I want to use the actual normal quartz blocks because it looks like separate little cabinets. So that's what we're going with. Um, so stop complaining. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're going to need a lot of these item frames. Uh, but anyway, we want to do this. And then here, I'm going to map out the rest of the kitchen here for you guys. This is going to be the island right over here. So we're going to leave two spaces. We're going to have a two wide island. Then we're going to leave two spaces, and we're going to have more kitchen on this side. So the island's going to be like this. Not as wide as the kitchen, just a little bit um, less wide, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. And then this side is going to match this side, which is a problem because that's my gate to get in and out. That's okay. We'll change that up in a second. All right, so inside the island we want, boom, right here. I guess it would have been, oh, it is centered with this. That's not bad at all, actually. And then we could put the ovens, or oven, depending on how I feel, over here. Okay, the uppers might need a little bit of extra height on them. Should I put should I put slabs here on the bot? Oh, maybe? Mm, yeah, let's try slabs on the bottom here. Change of plans. I decided to make these guys huh, uppers made of glass because that's what I have in my kitchen and I love it. So I'm going to have to like find a way to hide this, but we can we can figure that out later. Actually, what I could do is make the ones in the middle made of glass and then the outside ones not made of glass so like this one right here i could put an extra one down here uh we'll put one there one there and then i'll do boop like that and there we go now we have the uppers in the middle are made of glass and then uh, this kind of throws off the balance though maybe we can make the island even bigger no i don't want to make the island bigger here's what we're going to do we're going to ignore that last thing that i just said and we're going to completely remove this and this upper is not going to be made of glass <laughs> so there uh let's just get a regular smooth quartz smooth doesn't really matter in this case because uh it's not next to anything so um this is one side of the kitchen. Now, let me get some of these guys on here. One thing I will need, though, is a lot of iron, and I'll show you why in a second. I really like the way the iron uh, doors look. Iron doors? Iron trap doors. The iron trap doors look really, really good as handles. Now, some people use carpet, but I find the carpet a little bit too thin. You know what, actually? Maybe we can use... Maybe we can use oak trap doors because there is some. there are some things in the kitchen that are going to be kind of um, oak colored. So why not use the oak trap doors? Let's do that. That is our dishwasher because it needs to be stainless steel, just like the fridge. By the way, yeah, polished andesite makes a really good stainless steel. Our doors are on. I think they look pretty good. I wish we could make this a different color, but we can't. These item frames are what they are. Um, this is our dishwasher. Yep, and then we have a cauldron right here. This is going to be our sink. Our sink's going to be here, facing the outside wall here, so you can watch the fountain when it's actually on. Uh, let's fill it with water, of course. Then we have to have more of these item frames. So, I'm going to put an item frame there, item frame there, 
Once again, we are going to put the trap doors as handles. Uh, mm, 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 mm. This one we're going to put like this because it pulls down. Oops. I promise I'll get that right at some point. Oh, I went all the way around. Two. Two. There we go. So now we have the island coming together. By the way, if you want, you can totally do... Um, where is it right here? Block of, Not the smooth block. The block of quartz. Let's do five of them. And you can totally do this and have like an overhanging island to make it look like you can sit underneath it. In fact, I might still do that. I can't place. That's weird. Um, so, yeah, now you can have like a little breakfast nook. You can put some stools here and stuff, and that'll work out in your favor as well. Uh, maybe I will leave it like that. I think it looks kind of cool. Yeah, why not? One other thing we want to do here. We need a faucet. You guys might be wondering, oh, what the heck is going on here, Beef? You got the island there with the with the with the the water water with the sink, but you have no faucet. This is where another armor stand comes in handy. So where's my dropper at? Oh, I used it. My dispenser, not my dropper. I gotta make another dispenser. Beautiful. Look at how nice that is. Now what we have to do is we have to push our stair block into that block right there so we have to make the thing goes there oh nice i thought i was i wasn't gonna get it i thought it was gonna like place at the wrong angle but that's okay it actually placed perfectly yay so let's do that and then we do a magical one of these and now we have our faucet in front of our sink but wait that's not all through the magic of this um data pack that we have that works with armor stands <laughs> keep forgetting is, is it just me who forgets the name of this thing anyway we're gonna go with pose adjust and we're gonna move the head oh wrong way pose adjust. we're gonna move the head backwards a lot until it's actually hanging over the sink so it looks like a little bit of a faucet and then you got the things on the ends that look kind of like handles look at that guys look at that how cool is that I had an idea. Earlier I said this doesn't make a good countertop, but it, it, I used it because of the, um, the the lines on the side. It makes it look like distinctive doors. But what if we actually put a countertop on it? Now, I always do this in kitchens. I always do, and I'm not sure why I decided not to do it this time, but I think I'm putting this down. It looks like a nice gray patterned marble or something like that, um, and I think it suits it perfectly, and we can push the carpet into that armor stand if I'm not mistaken, so everything looks nice and cohesive. Let's hope that we can do that, actually. I haven't tested it. <laughs> that would be bad if I couldn't do it now after promising you guys the world. I promised you the world. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, here, let's do this. Let's do this. And now, yes, perfect. And we're done, kind of. Um, this is the hood fan for the triple ovens. That's right. It's opulent. It's luxurious. It's over the top. It's tacky triple ovens. Triple ovens. Um, I wanted to actually be able to use the ovens. I was going to put smokers, but the smokers don't really look like the color that I'm going for. Plus, the smoker seems like something you'd want to keep outside. I'm going to keep the smoker outside over here with my barbecue. Ooh, maybe we can even build the barbecue today. I have a really great idea for a barbecue that I designed myself. I'm pumped about it. Um, yeah, maybe I'll show you that in a second. I'm thinking maybe we need something on the counter here. The problem with these guys, these um, uh, carpet blocks, <laughs> is that you can't really put anything on the counter. So that's kind of a, a bummer. I guess you can put, like, armor stands and they could hold stuff, and you could put stuff on the counter. So maybe we'll have Cleo over here to help us out with that. But that's for another day. Look at this wonderful kitchen. Don't you want to spend some time here baking cookies and stuff? Oh, I forgot. There we go. Yeah, no uppers on this side because the windows are there. I think it's a nice little balance. Oh, there is something I forgot, actually. The pendant lighting for above the island. So I'm not sure if the ceiling is actually going to remain at that level. It's definitely going to look better than that at some point. You know what? I might actually bring it and flatten it out here, like right there at that level. But anyway, in the meantime, we'll have the uh, the iron bars go all the way up and then drop the pendants just above the aisle. Oh, that's too, that's too low. That's too low. You know what? Let's, let's bring it one higher. We don't want our heads hitting the pendants when we're sitting at the breakfast bar, do we? No. Absolutely not is the answer you were looking for to that question. So we'll do this. Okay, beautiful. Now look at this place. Oh, that's nice. Waffle maker. 
The next thing I wanted to do today is visit our friend Woody. It's oh, there he is. There's Woody himself. Look at this. Look at look at East Gal East Gal's tree. Woody has witnessed the whole thing. Oh, I'm sure East Gal is so happy to have Woody witness all of his building. Now, the only issue is, has he been feeding Woody? Woody, Woody, has he been feeding you? Woody looks a little drowsy. I don't think East Gal's been feeding him. I mean, maybe it's my fault. Maybe it's my fault. I didn't tell him that he had to be fed. Oh, no. Okay, Woody, okay. Let's see if we can make you feel better. Here you go, buddy. There you go. What a difference a little food makes. Oh, Woody, your eyes are nice and bright and wide open. This is beautiful. Here, let me give you a little bit more. I mean, I want to make sure you are well fed here. Beautiful. Oh, you love it, don't you? A slight side effect of feeding him. I mean... A bird's got to do what a bird's got to do. Please remember to feed Woody. He loves seeds, but will eat anything. Thank you, B. That's pretty polite. Hopefully he feeds him. Because this area is going to have all one flooring, I can't pick anything too, too busy because I'll get sick of looking at it. Plus, it's a large, large amount. So, I came up with a little bit of a pattern here in my creative world, and I think it looks really good. Nice and simple, um, but good. Simple, but good. It's my nickname in college. Um, so, oh, that was silly. Uh, so this is what we're going to do. Oh, wow. This, this thing is like going too deep. I didn't want it to go too deep. Let's get those guys here. Let's let's get uh, there. Okay. We're just going to do a simple checkerboard pattern, which you see often in kitchens and stuff. But we're going to go with this part up. So it looks like it gives it a little bit of detail and gold offsetting. Yeah, it's going to be expensive. That looks good, right? Nice and kitcheny, I think. Plus, opulence. Huh? Huh? We need to get these flippin' llamas out of my house. Um, they're growing in numbers. They're, they're you know, uh, multiplying as, as uh, n beings do when they're confined in tight spaces together. Oh boy, the quarantine babies we're gonna have nine months from now. Anyway, uh, they're growing in numbers, and I think this spot right here, it's kind of a natural... I want to do something else with this eventually because it's really, really cool and interesting. But for now, I think this would be the perfect spot for Llama Cove. That's right, Llama Cove. So, we're going to fence it off real quick. I um, just want to make sure we are doing this correctly. We don't want any mistakes here. We're going to go boop, 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 boop. And probably bring it out from here as well. Let's get rid of that and just go like this. And then put a little bit of a gate. A little bit of some gate action maybe uh, here. Yeah, I think I'll put the gate here. And then we'll fence it off on the other side as well. Just so that the llamas can't escape. And then they'll have a nice little cove. Llama cove if you will. Even though this is most likely going to be a very, very temporary thing for these llamas, because I kind of want to do something with this space other than breed llamas here, um, I still want to make it nice. You know, it's all about making things comfortable for our guests, and today our guests are the llamas. So, I chopped down that tree, and we're going to be making a little bit of a pond here. That's right, a pond. Llamas love water. I actually have no idea if llamas love water, but they need water to survive as every other living thing does in the entire planet. So, um, did I mess that up? No, I don't think I did. I think I'm all right. I think I'm all right. Let's just... There we go. It's starting to form infinite springs now and, and stuff and things. Um, so yeah, we're gonna make a little pond here for them. Then we're gonna deck. We're gonna we're gonna get some lighting in here. We're gonna decorate with maybe some hay bales, maybe even a few uh, wheat patches here and there. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Um, will this grass die? I hope so, because I don't want it to be green grass underneath. But so far, it's looking fantastic. Check this out over here. This is really nice. I didn't even know this was here, but look. The llamas have like a natural little cave area. Sure, there's some light coming through from above, but I mean, this is a pretty cool spot for the llamas to hang out. I'm thinking, I'm thinking over here would be perfect for some hay bales, maybe like a nice little bed for them, especially here, actually. Ooh, this is exciting. I'm excited for these llamas. <laughs> let's throw up, maybe not right there, but let's throw up some random uh, tiki torches. Llamas love, oops, nope. Llamas love tiki torches, am I right? Absolutely. We'll do that. We'll put the um, the torches on the tiki torches, and then we'll put lanterns in other places. For instance, right there is a lantern. 
Okay. We'll put the lanterns like kind of uh, in, in rocky areas. I think that'd be kind of cool. Like this chicken right here. Perfect. Chicken, thank you for... What the heck was that? Thank you for moving, chicken. I appreciate it. So there's a lantern there. Maybe even a lantern there. Okay. This is a nice little hay area or future hay area that I'm building right now. Nothing too crazy here. Just a little bit of a randomly placed hay bales. Definitely don't want that there. Let's put that down. We'll put some hay bales. Here we go. Maybe something like, uh, yeah, that's fine. So hay bales. Then some hay in the corner, of course. Out of the way, chicken. I mean, you could probably you could probably hang out with the llamas. I'm sure they 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 love it. Um, we also need some um, what's it called? The um, the dirt. Yeah, you know the dirt that I'm talking about. <laughs> the coarse dirt, that's it. So there's the hay belt. This thing, why isn't this thing despawning? These leaves are not. Oh, there's a tree right there. That's why. And it's all attached. That's kind of weird that it does that now. Okay, come on. Let's get rid of all these leaves. We only want this tree here. We don't want all this extra stuff. We also don't want this attached here. This is their little pond. I might even get some lily pads. Oh man, so maybe some maybe some reeds. Why not? Why why not? <laughs> Let's get uh, another one of these guys probably by the pond here. Like so. I think maybe this spot is a little bit dark. So let's maybe put one around here. These are just randomly placed. No, no method to my 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 madness here. I just wanna just wanna get some lighting in here. Like that. Okay. It's not that I'm trying to light it up for mobs. I just want it to be lit at night. Okay, so the checklist. We need um let's put maybe a couple of these guys here. Maybe like even like that. Yeah, this looks like a good spot for them. Like this. Ooh. A little bit of lagginess there. Okay, so we need uh, coarse dirt. We need um, lily pads, coarse dirt, sugar cane. What else? What else would make these llamas super comfortable? Of course, you got to clean up after the llamas every once in a while. So a couple of uh, conveniently placed composters would be fantastic. Now, I've got some coarse dirt on me. I've also brought some pumpkins. Add a little more color to this natural setting here. So we've got a couple of pumpkins there near those wheat plants. And we'll put a couple over here near these wheat plants. Beautiful. I've got some rose bushes, some lilacs, some peonies, and the lily of the valley. Here's an idea. The lily of the valley should face just like any other block. So when you face this way, the flower faces the opposite way. I think that would be amazing. And that's a wonderful, wonderful addition. Mojang, you can thank me later. Oops. Down you go. Peonies. Ooh, very nice. Um, maybe even one over here. Yes. Okay. Just a little color. Want these guys to be comfortable because they're going to be making the babies. Especially when, uh, when, this, when this business really takes off. I really hope this business takes off. <laughs> you know what? Some sand for the edge of this uh, little pond here would be good, too. That's probably enough sugar cane. I did bring some bamboo. I want to plant the bamboo probably near the edge. The edges here. Hmm. I'm looking. It's already looking pretty good. How about, like, right here? Right there. And then we'll do a couple of them. Um, right there. Okay. Bamboo has been planted. All right, vines. Do we want vines? We do have the lily pads on hand. Does this seagrass? Yes, it does. Okay, we have two seagrass. <laughs> Nailed it. Um, you have a chicken roommate. I mean, everybody needs a chicken roommate. Uh, yeah, I think now maybe we put down the lilacs, the rose bushes, and the coarse dirt, and we are just about done. Heaven. Do 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 do. Llamas in heaven. Do, 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 do. And my heart beats so... I don't know the rest of the song. I don't even know if those were the correct words. Anyway, I'm going to build them a little feeding trough too. Now, don't tell them this, but I'm never going to actually feed them. It's okay though. We have to have a feeding trough to make it seem like we are. Maybe we'll put the feeding trough... Man, I really am running out of... Here, this is where we'll do it. Nope, this is not This is not the place. Thank you very much. I wonder if Iskal has fed Woody yet. Unbelievable. You know, I give this guy a pet, and he doesn't even feed it. 
honestly. All right, there we go. Feeding trough complete. We've got a water trough that also serves, or not, oh, sorry, a pond that also serves as a water, water trough. Then we've got all kinds of wonderful stuff. I put some leaves up here. Not too many. I'm not trying to overdo it here. I did hang some vines, so when those grow, uh, I'm hoping it will add a little bit even, even more ambiance to everything. I mean, if you're describing, you know what? I need to fix this, though. I don't like this. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to steal a couple of these blocks right here. Now, I don't think those will grow. That's even better. It adds a different, deeper texture. I think all we have to do is this. We don't want grass blocks at the bottom of their feeding trough. We want this stuff. Good. Um, What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So, if if we're going with the opulence theme, I feel like, I feel like our llamas have it pretty good. Don't you think? I think so. Now, what happens when you get like 15, 20 llamas in here? We're going to find out. It's probably going to be a huge mess. Um, they're probably going to be like getting stuck everywhere and climbing out of places and things. I hope not. I hope they kind of like adventure out on their own and they don't all hang out together like they do over here in this corner. Oh, this could be trouble. Uh, okay, let's get these guys out. Let's go get me a couple of leads. I grabbed four of them, I, I, meaning I put the lead on four of... Oh, really? Zombie now is not a good time for this. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I could do this. Yep. Okay, good. Now, how many have actually followed me in here? Check and you like your new... Oh, wow. Oh, that's a lot of them. Okay, here. Let's unlead these guys. You guys are free to wander now. Uh, where is the lead coming? This one, and then this one. Good. Good. How many didn't make it? I feel like a lot of the... This is llama heaven, guys. Come on. If you were a llama, would you not want to live here? You. You can't get out. It's llama heaven, but this guy wants to leave it. I don't understand that. Here, let's see. Oh, you know what? Before we did that, we should probably should have checked if there was any that didn't make it. Oh, wow. What? Look at my kitchen. I love my kitchen. Um... I think everybody made it. I think everybody made it. Boop, boop, and we are done. Now I gotta, I gotta like put a, a different face on this wall here, um, just so that we hide this stuff and it looks a little cooler. But these llamas, I think they're having a great time. And you know what I'm gonna store right here? Hay bales. Now I wasted a lot of them over there, but when I need to, to um, breed them, I need a lot of hay bales. See, this is what I mean. Why are they all hanging out in that corner down there? I don't get it. These two guys are, this guy's kind of cool, hanging by the pumpkins, and please don't destroy that. Okay, good. Oh, they're going to, the wheat is not going to survive. They're wandering. Here, let's go over here and check out where they're going. Oh, they're going back there. There you go, guys. Go into your little cave there. This is the llama cave. Is there not a whole lot of room for you guys here? Here, I'm going to make it easier on you to get in here. All right, how's that? How, how are them apples? Do you like them? That's how it goes, right? That's the line in the movie. Um, this cow can also join them too if you want, buddy. You can, you can come down here. Do I have any? I do have some of this stuff. Close that off. Okay, everything's looking good here. I was going to put some dirt, but that's not, that's not the dirt that I want. In fact, maybe we can put a little bit of that dirt right here just for a little extra detail. And maybe some path blocks right there and make it look like uh, they've spent some time here. Llama Heaven. Llama Cove. Everybody, Llama Cove. And that's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Whenever somebody buys a llama from me, they will know that these llamas were raised with care and love and they have a wonderful home that they live in and, and they're just organic and free range, <laughs> much like the pumpkins, <laughs> hand fed, grain fed, all that wonderful stuff, gluten free. Um, anyway, hope you guys enjoy the episode. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it and uh, subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell if you want to be notified when I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.